on PBC last night. It was a stack card all around. Mm -hmm. It was a great night of fighting. And Kalnaski was supposed to, at this moment, was supposed to be his showcase fight Absolutely. before his big step-up fight against a Ruiz or a Deontay Wilder. However, Hellenius had other plans. So um, talk about that fight, um, Professor Nim, what you, what you saw in that and Hellenius and his future. Well, I think uh, Robert Hellenius is who he pretty much thought he was. Like He, he is the type that will, if you don't come on your uh, P's and Q's, he will up, not only upset you, but probably knock you out. Um, he's had um, an upset in the past. Uh, well, I wouldn't say kind of a modicum of an upset. But with um, Adam Kaznowski, I think it was somebody who um, had a pretty nice following. You know, he's a baby face guy, so he's kind of like this, looks like a big giant baby, but he goes and knocks out people. He had a style that was, that was limited, and at some point, once you get to a certain level, especially as a, as a heavyweight, with that type of move, come forward style, um, you know... He was going to end up like he did, and he was, and, you know, he was hurt pretty bad against uh, Robert Hellenius, but I, I think he can come back from it. I'm not sure if, I'm, I'm not sure if he was ever at the elite championship level, but he's somebody who can, who has a nice following, he has a nice style, uh, he goes for the knockout, he has a crowd-pleasing style, so he can make some noise in the heavyweight division, but he's going to have to pick up the pieces and change, a, you know, a couple of things about his style. Yeah, um, you know, uh, Kel Kelanius, I like his style, but at the end of the day, if you're planning on being a Michael Tyson, uh, Mike Tyson in the heavyweight division, then, you know, you might have to mind your defense, you know. A lot of people look at Mike Tyson and think he's this aggressive bull, but he had a lot of um, technique to him that people don't realize. So um, Kalnaski has to work on his technique because last night he almost looked like a punching bag to me. He was getting clapped with everything in the kitchen sink. So you can't afford to be getting hit like that in the heavyweight division. I don't care who you is. Defense is very important, even at heavyweight, because um, it don't take Especially too many punches. It don't yeah, take too yeah, many punches yeah, to get yeah. you out of there. Unlike any other division, the heavyweight division, it takes the few amount of punches to get you out of there because of the obvious reason you hit harder. And it's the same human chin and jaw. So with that being said, Kalnaski, um, he need to work on his defense, in my opinion. I always have problem with his defense. He have a, a very entertaining style. But for your health, for your sake, for your career, you have to work on the defense portion and focus on that heavily because Kalnaski, like, uh, Kal uh, not Kalnaski, Hel Hellenius, uh, yeah. was catching him with everything in, in the boxing book. You know, them right hands counters was beautiful. And then he heard him on more than one occasion, them took him out. So, um, Hellenius, you know, just came out of nowhere. Of course, he has a good record, but, um, mm. do you... He's kind of been around for, like, a while. He's, uh... Uh, I mean, really, kind of a journey. What not a journeyman, but more kind of a gatekeeper. He's a certain level of a um, fighter, like um, world class, not the top of the elite of the world class, but he's a world class fighter, and he's got himself another payday, a pretty good one, and many more, and many yeah, more yeah. coming his way because of this performance that he pulled off. Now, of course, boxing is the theater of the unexpected. Uh, PBC had a, a, a great all-around card. Even um, this the heavyweight fighter that made his opponent run out of the ring, he fought last night, El Jabbar. So mm -hmm. he has a good record too, 16 fights and 15 by KO. So with that being said, the heavyweight division is well and alive. However, we must clear cl clean up the cheating in the sport. So we're going to talk about it, and we're going to dive in. You already know how we do on Split Decision. Now, of course, your boy fought last night. Uh, for the people that don't know, Split Decision is a boxing debate slash talk show. But we also talk about striking. Split Decision is a boxing debate slash talk show where our key, you know, he chewed up. Uh, Professor Nam like some Eminem's. I mean, I'm, today I'm, I'm rapping looking, like I'm Eminem. I'm a, you know what I'm, I'm saying? It's, I'm it's feeling the like the OG swag. Y'all get here. in the game with OG in here. Nation so with that here. being said, I'm even though he a professor today, like I said, I'm the doctor. I'll tell you the truth and Errol Spence, the truth co-sign what I'm saying, saying that 
Tyson Fury basically there's a question mark next to his name and his oh, legacy yeah, rock with me. as Do a hashtag whole. Hashtag Professor Nims. I buried Professor Nim alive today. I'm looking, um, I'm looking so good. So we're gonna for... talk about this on a different episode as well. We have more topics, but we don't have the time. And I appreciate all my keys and all the people in the chat. Like I said, I see y'all ripping the Aki Nation. I see y'all telling 3P me P Nation. I, I, I buried Professor Nim, my own bro ski alive. So with that being said, if I do that to my own bro ski. Picture what I'm going to do to you. Peace and we out. Take us out, Professor Nair.